body of Christ. Picture the scene. You at the cross, seeing Jesus dying for you. He's like this, just out there, probably agonizing in pain, because it's painful what he did for us. And then you hear this. John 19.30 says, when Jesus had tasted it, he said, it is finished. Then he bowed his head, and he released his spirit. His, he was done. Jesus bowed, kind of like an actor bowed when they're done with this show. That body was done. But Jesus has another body. The disciples, they thought that he came to be the ruler, but he came to die. It reminds me of the story of my parents. They rented the first Lord of the Rings movie, but it was getting to the end, it was getting really good, but they didn't know that there was more to come. And when Jesus raised, uh, he sent his disciples out. He says, go and make disciples of all nations. He was finished. His body was finished. But he has another body. And that body is the body of Christ, which is the church. And if we're going to be the body of Christ and do what we were set, we are set out to do, we need a helper. And that helper is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Acts 2, 4 said, and any, uh, it says, And everyone present was filled with the Holy Spirit and began speaking in other languages as the Holy Spirit gave them this ability. Baptism of the Holy Spirit is what gives us the power to finish the work that Christ has set for us. Mm. And usually when people leave, you give them uh, parting gifts, but see Jesus was classy. He gave us a gift when he left, and that is the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Holy Spirit strengthens the body, because we need it. We can't do it without the Holy Spirit. That's right. And that leads me to my next verse, Acts 2, 41. Those who believed what Peter said were, were baptized and added to the church that day, about 3,000 in all. See, we should see this every day. 3,000 people coming to Christ. If we are filled with the Holy Spirit and we let it move through us, when the Holy Spirit moves, the body goes. It's as simple as that. And we have to let it move. We have to let it breathe. Acts 2, 24. For my life is worth nothing to me unless I use it for finishing the work assigned me by the Lord Jesus. The work of telling others the good news about the wonderful grace of God. That is what we're supposed to do. We are... We are useless. We are nothing unless we speak about the wonderful news about Jesus Christ. Amen. And when we are de getting old, uh, like my mom, uh, <laughs> we can say we can say that that we finished the race. We fought the good fight. And uh, I had this story once that this guy said when he died, when he was out of the fight, he went to hell to throw a party because he's done. They don't have to deal with him anymore because he's out of the fight. Thank you.